Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories. Let's start with the story. AITA for asking my stepkids to move out. My husband, 40M and I, 34F, have been married for four years. I came into my stepdaughter's 16F life when she was 10. Both she and my stepson, now 12M, were somewhat neglected and had behavior issues when I met them. My husband and his ex-wife aren't bad parents, but he travels a lot for work, and she is a bit flighty and self-indulgent. My stepdaughter and I hit it off really well, and I love both my stepkids. We all co-parented well with me taking on a more active role in their school and other activities. Both my husband and his ex-wife were satisfied with me doing the grunt work for the kids. They both travel a lot, and I became the sole parent who was fully engaged. I own a three-bedroom house I had inherited from my parents, and my husband and the kids moved in to live with me. The kids love their rooms in our home and their lives in our town. The custody arrangement they have on paper is 50 to 50, but their mom doesn't have as much space as I do, so the kids are here almost full-time. A few months ago, I came back from an overnight school field trip with my stepson to find a very distraught stepdaughter. She found her parents together in my bedroom and was upset about the cheating. I was devastated to hear this from her. After some sleuthing, I found out that their affair had been going on for months, possibly a whole year. I've been trying to get pregnant for the past two years, and realizing that my husband was sleeping with us back to back was especially nauseating for me. I have filed for divorce and asked him to leave. He doesn't want this marriage to end, and seems somehow convinced that I'll change my mind, but he agreed to a separation and has moved out to an apartment. My stepdaughter was mad at both her parents and wants to continue living with me. Neither of them is taking any steps to move the kids out, so they are still living in their rooms and living their lives as if this family hasn't imploded. I'd be happy to have the kids with me, but my problem is that both my husband and their mom feel at liberty to come into my house whenever they feel like it because their kids are here. She feels no guilt about the cheating and acts as if I am the interloper. She treats me like I am their nanny, expecting me to continue taking care of things for the kids and leaving me with instructions and criticisms. Meanwhile, my ex frequently drops by under the guise of seeing the kids but keeps trying to cajole me into letting him move back. I love my stepdaughter and don't want to do anything to hurt her further, but I can't take living like this. The amount of hurt and anger I feel towards my husband and his ex-wife is too much, and it's painful to keep dealing with them. The absolute cheek of them to treat me like this is making my head explode. But I don't know what to do about the kids. Everyone in my life is expecting me to suck it up and do what's best for the kids. I love them, but this is becoming unbearable. I talked with different lawyers to see what I could do in this situation, but what I found out wasn't very promising and the lawyer retainer fee for a custody fight is too high. With the separation, my money situation is pretty tight, and I couldn't afford to chase this issue legally. I've been stressed and working late these days. The day after I made the post, I was going to be late home, and had asked my stepdaughter to reheat the frozen lasagna I had made for dinner. When I arrived home, it was to find both kids having a meal with my ex and their mom, let's call her M. M had decided to turn it into a family dinner, and set out the food I made on my formal dining table with my nice dishes. She had created a pretty family moment with her and my ex under my roof. I completely lost it at that point. I regret to say I behaved abominably, screaming at her and my ex, and told them to get the hell out of my house. This happened in front of my stepson who was pretty shocked. So far, I had kept him out of most of this mess. After my breakdown I needed some time away, so I drove out to spend the weekend with my cousin. My stepdaughter wanted to come with me, and we left my stepson with his dad. My stepdaughter was so sweet to me and very understanding of why I was upset. She hadn't invited her parents, her mom had shown up and then invited my ex for dinner. My stepdaughter hadn't anticipated that I'd get this upset. Frankly, I am surprised too that I blew up like that. That's not typically me. After we got back I let him know that she shouldn't come over anymore, and if she did, then I'd report her for trespassing. And didn't believe me and showed up to talk, and I lost it at her again. This time, I did call the cops. They nicely asked her to leave, and she did. My stepson was very upset at me for this. M showed up again the next day, acting all sweet and telling me that I am being unreasonable. Unfortunately, I became pretty unhinged at this and swore and yelled at her. My stepson shoved me and screamed at me to shut up. I fell on my butt and was shocked into silence. M was pretty surprised too and left immediately, whereas my stepson ran and locked himself in his room. He called his dad to come get him, but he was out of town and M ignored his calls. My stepson is a very loving kid, so his reaction was very heartbreaking. I understand where he's coming from, though. M is his mother, after all. M is also a very pretty person who comes across as very sweet and delicate. 
She's the type of woman people jump to help. It is natural that my stepson would feel protective of her. I hadn't expected that he'd turn on me though. The rest of the week was bad, with my stepson angry at me and refusing to talk to me. When his dad got back in town, he came and got him. My stepson told him he didn't want to live with me anymore. A few days later, my ex wanted me to take back my stepson, but the kid didn't want to come back. I told my ex I would not force him, and my ex got pretty mad at me. He wanted me to fix the situation somehow. When I refused to make my stepson stay with me, my ex became pretty mean. He said a lot of ugly things, the worst being that he's relieved I didn't get pregnant because I'd make an awful mother. I was afraid of things turning out this way, but I've got my ex and him out of my house, and that is a relief. My stepdaughter is going to live with me until she moves out to college. My ex is struggling to find childcare for my stepson and is so angry at me that I think he'll not slow down the divorce anymore. I want to fix this with my stepson, but a big, selfish part of me is afraid to do anything that will bring his parents back into my life. I really don't understand him's actions and motivations in all this. She wanted to sleep with my ex and I had walked out of the picture, so it was all hers. If she wanted her kids, it wasn't like there was anything I could do about that. If she didn't want her kids, I was already taking care of them. But she'd keep violating my boundaries with a smile on her face and act surprised that I am not happy about this. Right now neither she nor my ex wants to be the daily parent to my stepson, but he is angry at me enough that he doesn't want to choose me I feel so crushed about that. Well, update? Nothing of consequence has happened on the legal front since my last post. Emotionally, it has been a lot of ups and downs. A lot of people messaged me suggesting that I should let my stepdaughter go, and that it's not healthy to have her staying with me. That may be true on paper, but it's not something I want to do. I met my ex a few years after my parents' deaths. I was very close to them, and they passed away one after the other. I suffered from a lot of depression from grieving. My boyfriend at that time dumped me, and I lost a lot of friends. When we started dating, I was coming out of my sadness, but was still very lonely. My stepdaughter and I became each other's support very quickly. She felt neglected by her parents and had resentment towards them, and I suppose she loved the attention I gave her. I found her to be a loving kid and liked bonding with her. My stepson and I were close too, while he loved his mom, I did assume that he was closer to me. One of the resentments that my stepdaughter held against her parents was that they were uninterested and dismissive of her extracurriculars, which led to her failing in some activities she was very passionate about. She's into a sport I was familiar with, and I spent a lot of time training with her and taking her to her events and classes. She is very good at it now, and it's going to be a source of scholarships for her and possibly get her into the college she is interested in. She is hardworking and ambitious, and I want to support her as much as I can. She has promised to keep her parents out of our home, and I hope she sticks with that until she leaves for college. My ex has been very angry and ranting at me in messages. I've stopped answering his calls, and I don't reply to his emails. I've told him the only subject I'll discuss with him is the divorce, and only through my lawyer. So he's been bad-mouthing me to a lot of our mutual acquaintances. A couple of people have gently chided me for abandoning my stepson. One went so far as to say that women who become stepmoms should know what they are signing up for and that a real mother wouldn't leave her children. I am not good with conflict and haven't been able to respond properly. I've pretty much isolated myself from people so I don't have to listen to comments like these. M is still blocked by me, and she hasn't made any more efforts to communicate with me, and that is a huge relief. A week after the last post, my sister-in-law S.I.L. came down to see me. She lives three hours away, so I was pretty apprehensive that she was going to drive down all the way over here to talk to me, I asked to meet in a restaurant, and she agreed. I was also worried about talking to her because while she's been polite and nice with me, she was, and still, is M's friend. She told me my ex had urged her to talk to me about my stepson, and she completely disagrees with him about that. She said I've been a great stepmom to my stepson, but he's not my responsibility. My ex was honest with her about his affair and she supports me getting divorced. She said a lot of supportive things to me about moving on and looking after myself, and also thanked me for still taking care of my stepdaughter. That was nice, but then she went on to add that she wasn't surprised by the affair at all, she was surprised that my ex married me. She was like, you should have seen this coming. Though she didn't come out and say it, the insinuation was that M is so much better than me, she's prettier, more successful, more charming, and my ex would jump at the chance to be with her. That was just great to hear, Peaky. Though it's easy for me to accept now that I am not the smart one here, because I didn't see it coming at all. I was happy and in love with my family.
We had a court date, and the judge ordered mediation and put this off for a few more months. I was hoping this would be a wrap-up. After all we don't have kids together, and I want nothing from my ex. I didn't bring up custody for my stepdaughter or stepson, and he didn't either. All I want is a divorce and to walk away with what I brought in, my house and my car. My ex isn't fighting for those, but he's still saying he doesn't want a divorce. Wh man? He's left me two messages asking to talk. I've ignored him. The mediation will be over Zoom, which to me sounds more comfortable than an in-person meeting. I am divorced. Papers are signed, the judge has signed off, it's done. I am so relieved. I was scared that this would drag on for longer. The first mediation meeting was a shit show with my ex trying to talk at me that we should go through marriage counseling. The mediator was a very firm woman who kept the conversations in control though. We had a couple more mediation emails, and he agreed to sign off. I was still nervous about how it'd go today but my ex played nice and signed off on everything. Well, update? I'm making a big show of being happy and social and carefree to people in real life, but honestly, I am so damn miserable and sad. The first couple of months I soldiered on out of pure spite and determination to remake myself, but it's devolving into sadness. I had been avoiding hearing anything about my ex or M, but my stepdaughter has been having some issues and vented to me how mad she is at her parents, mostly her mom. My ex and M didn't last long. They were having fights and issues well before my divorce finalized. M immediately started dating someone else, and from what I hear, she's happy in this current relationship and is so into it, she hasn't even met either of her kids in the past two months. Only video calls. My ex had to juggle a lot of things to adjust his work schedule and get dependable childcare for my stepson. He's dating two now, a much younger woman. My ex and M used to co-parent well, but I guess I was the one really doing that because right now, they hate each other and hardly ever talk. One would think that it'd make me happy, seeing them fall apart from each other, but it's only making me angrier. My life was ruined, the kid's happy home was destroyed, and for what? I miss my old life so much. A lot of it was a lie, but I was so happy and full of purpose then. I'm just feeling lost right now. My stepdaughter is doing great though, and that brings me a lot of joy. I am a little scared of the time soon when she'll move out and it'll be just me in this big house. I've talked to my stepson on the phone a couple of times. That boy has grown up and changed so much it feels like we were separated for years. He's going to come for a sleepover during the Halloween weekend, and I am pretty excited about that. My stepdaughter was going to babysit him at my ex's place while he travels, but I okayed having him with us since it's Halloween. A final update? My life has been good since then. I had stopped dating and gave up on online apps. I did well with making a few friends and staying busy with having an active life, a good career, and hobbies. Eventually I met my current partner on a hiking trip. My stepdaughter has been a constant ray of sunshine in my life, and we are very close. She introduces me to people as her adopted mama lol, and I don't refer to her as step. She is doing great at college, she's growing into an awesome person, and my home is her home when she visits from school. Things are a bit more complicated with my former stepson. He has been upfront that he doesn't want me as a parental figure in his life, and is not interested in being close to me I respect that. I still stay in touch with him, but as a distant friend. We exchange jokes, and sometimes the three of us get together for dinner. He is in therapy for depression and anger issues, so I don't want to let go of him completely. Regarding the guy I am with now, this is by far the best romantic relationship of my life, and I am very happy. I am pregnant now, second trimester, and we are both excited. The pregnancy was unexpected, but I am thrilled about it. I was trying so hard to get pregnant in my previous marriage, and all that trying and medical interventions didn't help, and now I am pregnant despite using condoms. The relationship is still new, and I am treading carefully. One of the best parts is that his family is amazing. His parents are very sweet and accepting people who already treat my stepdaughter as their grandchild and are very excited about the baby.